some of the best 1980s rom-coms and chick flicks became iconic and are popular even to this day. Here's our list of the best 1980s romance movies we recommend to get nostalgic on ASAP. Be sure to check out our 1990s romance film list as well, and feel free to leave a comment with what your favorites are. Number 10. Romancing the Stone when romance novelist Joan Wilder's sister gets kidnapped in Colombia, Joan travels there to trade a treasure map for her safety. Along the way, she hires Jack T. Colton to be her guide. My minimum price for taking a stranded woman to a telephone is $400. Will you take $375 in traveler's checks? American Express? Of course. Not a deal. The chemistry in these two grows as they adventure through the jungle together, all the while being pursued by others who are after the treasure. This movie is significant because if it wasn't for the success of Romancing the Stone, director Robert Zemeckis might not have gotten the green light to start production on Back to the Future, one of the biggest time travel movies in history. Romancing the Stone was released on March 30, 1984 and made $115.1 million. Number 9. Tootsie Life as a male actor is hard for Michael Dorsey, especially when he's got a bad rep and no one will hire him due to his attitude. In desperation for any role, Michael decides that he could get a part in a soap opera if he impersonates a woman, thus becoming Dorothy Michaels, and he ends up getting the part. Although Dorothy Michaels ends up being a hit, Michael starts developing feelings for his cast member Julie, which proves to be difficult since she doesn't know that Dorothy is really a man, and Julie's dad starts falling for Dorothy and Instead, this film is great in literally putting a man in a woman's shoes, really showing how hard some women struggle in the acting business, and with some great laughs along the way, Tootsie is a perfect rom-com for all to enjoy. Starring Dustin Hoffman, Tootsie opened in theaters December 17, 1982, and made over $241 million worldwide. Number 8. Pretty in Pink you know you're talking like that just because I'm going out with Blaine. Blaine? His, his name is Blaine? Oh, that's a, that's a major appliance. That's not a name. Molly Ringwald. Andrew McCarthy and John Cryer star in one of the 80s most watched teenage romance movies, Pretty in Pink. Here, Andy Walsh, who lives with her low-income father, falls for a Richie named Blaine. And it seems that Blaine is also attracted to Andy, but his rich friends don't seem to approve of the couple. Pretty in Pink originally had an ending where Andy Walsh ends up with her best friend Ducky, but audiences at the screening literally booed at this ending. So the ending was reshot with Andy and Blaine ending up together. Since the reshoot was done several weeks after the original shoot, Andrew McCarthy had shaved his head for another part. And if you look closely, you can see that his hair is a little different due to the wig that he was fitted with for the reshoot. Pretty in Pink opened officially in theaters on February 28, 1986 and made $40.5 million worldwide at the box office. Number 7. Splash Hi. I take it you know this girl. A mysterious girl washes up in New York and ends up in Alan's care. But what Alan doesn't know is that this girl is a mermaid. She learns English by watching TV and names herself Madison. Madison and Alan develop a romance during the next few days, but an obsessed scientist is trying to get her to turn into a mermaid publicly. I'm gonna prove to you, and to everyone else, that that girl is a mermaid. Likely due to the success of this movie, the name Madison shot up in popularity by 1990 and increased to the third most popular name for girls by the year 2000. Splash was released on March 9, 1984 and made $69.8 million worldwide after its release. Number 6. Dirty Dancing Nobody puts baby in a corner. Vacationing with her family at a resort, rich girl known as Baby has a romance with dance instructor Johnny who teaches Baby how to dirty dance like they do at the secret resort staff dance parties. The two start falling for each other, but their love cannot be because of their difference in status, and some may even argue age too. 
This film allowed actor Patrick Swayze to showcase his professional dancing skills that he had learned from his mother and his ballet studies in New York. Dirty Dancing was filmed in only 43 days and was planned as a low-budget limited-release movie, but the film ended up becoming a success, making over $63 million worldwide after its original May 1987 theatrical release, and it became the number one video rental of 1988. Number 5. Coming to America in the wealthy nation of Zamunda, Prince Akim is set up with an arranged bride by his parents. However, Akim wants to find a woman who will truly love him for himself and not his status, so he travels to New York to find his queen, where he ends up working at a restaurant called McDowell's, alongside the restaurant owner's daughter, Lisa. Akim and Lisa get to know each other, and soon an attraction appears. But Lisa has a snobby boyfriend, and it all becomes even crazier when Akim's parents, the king and queen of Zamunda, travel to New York to fetch the prince. Coming to America made a long-lasting impact in pop culture. In 2018, a sandwich shop in LA transformed into a McDowell's pop-up restaurant serving food inspired by the movie. And in 2021, Coming to America received the sequel treatment with Coming to America, released on Amazon Prime Video. The original movie came out in theaters on June 29, 1988 and made a whopping $288 million from worldwide box office sales. Number 4. A Room with a View Lucy and her older cousin Charlotte are vacationing in Italy, staying at a hotel where they swap their rooms for rooms with a view with Mr. Emerson and his handsome son George. Lucy and George get to know each other while sightseeing in Italy, and after George steals a kiss from Lucy, she finds herself attracted to him. When Lucy comes back home, she gets engaged to a snobby man, but soon after, coincidentally, George's father moves into a nearby cottage, having George come for weekly visits resurfacing more of the suppressed feelings towards George inside of Lucy. A Room with a View is based on E.M. Forster's 1908 novel of the same name, and is both a romance and a humorous critique of English society during the Edwardian period. Starring Helena Bonham Carter, Julian Sands, and Maggie Smith, the movie opened in theaters on April 11, 1986, and made a total of $21 million in box office sales. Number 3. Moonstruck Starring Cher and Nicolas Cage, Moonstruck is the story of Loretta Castorini, who has just accepted the proposal of Johnny Camareri, just as he is about to leave to see his dying mother in Italy. His one request is to please call his estranged younger brother Ronnie and invite him to the wedding. Loretta goes to see Ronnie at his bakery and after intimate discussion, they end up passionately making out and going to bed together, and of course a romance develops. I'm gonna take this to our coffee. I can't do that. Why not? I'm in love with you. Snap out of it! Moonstruck was almost called The Bride and the Wolf, but director Norman Jewison argued that it sounded like a horror title rather than a romance, which I think we can agree on. They ended up calling it Moonstruck after several scenes where they just can't stop talking about the moon. Moonstruck opened in theaters on December 18, 1987 and made over $122 million after its debut. Number 2. When Harry Met Sally After graduating from the University of Chicago, Sally Albright and Harry Burns carpool together to New York. Harry has always said that men and women cannot be just friends. He believes that attraction always gets in the way. But after several years of running into Sally time and time again, he breaks his own rule and decides he and Sally will just be friends. But the friendship starts getting awkward as they realize they're developing feelings for each other. This movie is famous for a scene where Sally fakes an orgasm during lunch. Yes! 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 Oh! Oh! I'll have what she's having. This scene was filmed at an actual New York deli off Houston Street in Manhattan called Katz's Deli, and there's a sign over the table where the scene took place. When Harry Met Sally was released in theaters on July 14, 1989, and made $92.8 million from worldwide box office sales. Before we get to our number one, here are some great picks that are too good to leave out. These honorable mentions include The Princess Bride, released in 1987, The Blue Lagoon, released in 1980, Some Kind of Wonderful, released in 1987. Number one, Say Anything, 
After graduating high school, Lloyd Dobler, played by John Cusack, asks out valedictorian Diane Court, who has just been offered a prestigious fellowship in Britain. They begin to date, but Diane's father does not like this match, telling Diane that Lloyd isn't suitable for her. Say Anything is filled with romance, breakups, makeups, and a big secret that Diane's father has been keeping from her. In the film, Lloyd holds up a boombox to get Diane's attention, a scene that has been made iconic and been parodied multiple times, such as The Simpsons, Family Guy, A Night at the Roxbury, and modern sitcoms like The Goldbergs. Say Anything was released on April 14, 1989, made $21.5 million at the box office, and currently has a certified Rotten Tomatoes score of 98%. Do you have any more recommendations for 1980s romance films? Leave a comment and let us know. Don't forget to check out our 90s romance movies list as well, and hit the like and subscribe buttons on your way there. See you next time here on Retro Needy.